assalamu alaikum and good morning my dear students uh, you can see today our topic is comprehension from exercise booklet page 95 and 96 please open exercise booklet page 95 and 96 now you can see on your screen a horse having a horn that's called unicorn so it's a mythical creature mythical creature me imaginative creature not real one it's it's not true but it's right imaginative now the objective of this lesson that after going through this inshallah you would be able to know about sight words sight words doesn't mean by looking what is worth seeing words it means important words like traditional parables allegories sacred spirituality philosophical personification in any way theories rational possess and credible now there are also some words regarding concepts something conceived in mind now concept means something conceived in mind which happened in mind so you make a picture inside the mind and then express through words myths parables allegories personification and unicorns vocabulary in this campaign paragraph you would find traditional personification personification means incarnation to give a uh, animate qualities to in animate being parables mean short fictitious story uh it's not true story is fictitious from fiction in animate allegories expression by means of symbols now allegory means something that had been represented through symbols symbols signs sacred you know something uh, sacred in is used in religion rational uh, so rational means explanation for belief when you are believing something you have some explanation and that uh, uh, that, that gives a uh, reason to mind this causation spirituality which also is a closely connected branch of religion spiritual or religiosity spirituality possessed Uh, philosophical so the meaning of philosophical is thinking about fundamental question of the world this this philosophical important question incredible these vocabulary we would come up come across while reading this text now uh, we would start from the beginning although in your book uh, you might see that the the same complete paragraph has not been started from these words but in the book some portion of this comprehension paragraph been missed so i would start from the beginning susan knew that her language art teacher encouraged the student to become better writer by keeping a journal of stories like a diary of stories mr christiansen would assign topic every night but once in a while there would be a free choice writing and the students could write about any topic of their choice when mr christiansen announced that wednesday topic would be free choice susan was delighted she knew just what to write about she wanted to write about unicorn now it was a free choice and she was glad to have this opportunity susan knew unicorns were just make believe but she wanted to understand more about how the unicorn creature came about susan decided that she needed to do more research first before writing her journal entry there was study time at the end of the day and susan asked if she could go to the computer lab since all her other assignments were completed now my guy i'm going through um quite quickly through the text but you understand it's quite easy that she wanted that opportunity mr christiansen smiled He always liked to see students with their work completed and he always liked to see students like Susan excited about a new topic to write about. Susan walked to the computer lab and found a computer that was not being used. 
it was in the four corner of the lid so this spot would be a little quieter for her first she decided to read about myth she googled the word myths and began reading so it means she she searched something up on google and about myth and about unicorn so she found all these lines a myth is a traditional story of historical events that serve to tell the world about a practice belief or a happening myths can be called parables or allegories the main characters in myths are usually gods supernatural heroes and humans now this god been written by small letter it means their mind made creature and if it is if it is when it is written with capital g it means allah the one and only god some myths were seen as sacred and linked to the religion or spirituality by rulers or priests priests they are religious leader like just like in islam we have like ulama learned men or the imam said so they have their priests in christianity when a myth is told it is usually seen as true for that society however some societies classify their myths as though they are true story so it's a it's a not true story it's a mythical story and the background is quite obvious from the passage and though they are false stories or fables they are also they are also creation creation myths which took place in an age which the world did not have human beings and these myths then talk about how the world and its inhabitants were first formed some myths are allegories or allegories which mean they stand for something else for example in some of the greek myths you have creature like apollo who represent fire and Poseidon who represent water and so on. So now here's a new concept of Apollo is also called the son of the, the god of sun. The god with small letter, the god of sun, Apollo. And it's also been say, uh, known the god of fire. Same case with the Poseidon is the god of water and simultaneously it is also been known the god of sea. in other myths to close like in it. other myths in other myths the allegories represent philosophical or spiritual concepts for example you have athena who represent wise judgment and she also been famous the goddess of wisdom so athena is a female character in greek mythology so goddess the goddess of wisdom Some people think that myths resulted from the personification of inanimate objects and forces. This would mean that the things that are not real take on real life characteristics. For example, fire and air would be real, etc. Some people think that myths were created to explain rituals which are repeated acts like baptism or marriage. So baptism is a Christianity belief in which they um uh, wash their babies when when the baby born and according to their belief he just into into christianity by, by baptizing their children wow that's interesting susan said to herself i think i will read a little bit about unicorn now and the different theories or rationals behind this creature then i should be ready to write my journal entry so sen search on google the word unicorn she read about unicorns of which mostly she knew already unicorns are mythical creature that look like horses with a horn coming out of their foreheads unicorns are a beautiful animal usually described as having great intelligence and a gentle wisdom that humans may not understand often the unicorn is a creature of divinity pure of heart and spirit that may be possessed of incredible powers of both creation and healing susan looked at the clock there was time for her to start writing her mythical story for the journal assignment before the dismissal bell 
This is what Susan wrote. The unicorn, a mythical creature once upon a time in a land far, far away there lived a unicorn which was often seen galloping atop a tall cliff overlooking the sparkling creek below. Everyone knew that when the moon was full, the unicorn would grace the mountain with its beauty. This is about the whole explanation of the unicorn. The bell rang, Susan Grave her journal, and walked back to class to tell Mr. Christensen that she made lots of progress. She couldn't wait to finish writing the story and to read it to the class tomorrow. Good night, Susan. Mr. Christensen shouted about the noise in the hallway. Good night, Mr. Christensen. See you tomorrow. Susan smiled and waved. Now, my dear students, you have to do your homework and that you could find on the next page of this completion paragraph. Please complete the exercise being given at the end of the completion paragraph. You can find all answers in the passage. But for difficult words, you can consult dictionary. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.